So, for TV and movie episodes I have on the hard drive, I actually decided not to use Kodi Eye's web server. It, uh, to me, has never worked very efficiently. Even on newer tablets, it just is kind of hulky. It's not really widely supported. Um, Kodi has, you know, basically admitted that they don't really care for it. So, you know, it is what it is. So basically, I kind of made my own thing. First of all, for my TV series, I just have all my uh, series listed. So I select that. And then it brings me to uh, a list here with the seasons that are uh, available. And when I click on that, it brings the season up on the TV, not in um, iRule itself. I don't have a problem navigating on the screen to once I'm in the individual season. But then when I start playing it, it updates the uh, information, title, show title, season, episodes, plot line, and then starts to play. So I got the slider. I got the time index that counts down instead of up. Got the pause play thing working. If I fast forward, also changes that to play pause state. And that's what I did for my TV series. Now for my movies, I decided to create my own database within iRule. The reason I did this is because I have movies on all different formats, and quite honestly, most of them are still on disc. Uh, but I also have them on Vudu, I have them on iTunes, and a few things on the hard drive. Um, yes, this took a long time to set up, but basically I imported all my movies into iRule. Um, all the ones I have on disc are all organized and stored in a Dachau uh, DVD CD organizer. So basically when I hit the jacket, it actually has Event Ghost eject the disc from the carousel. And I have the carousel built into an end table with the Blu-ray player right next to where I sit. So all I have to do is pick the disc up and put it in the drive. For things that I have on Vudu, of course, it just launches my Xbox and takes me to Vudu. For the things I do have on hard drive, I can launch that. It launches it on Kodi Eye. Brings in the title, the year, some of the metadata. Starts to count down. And that's how I have my movies stored. You know, again, I did this because of the fact that I got videos on so many different formats. It couldn't figure out an easy way to have my library all in one. So, yes, it took a long time to make it, but once I did it, it's well worth the time. You know, it is pretty responsive. I am updating the clock every second. And does have the countdown timer. Same thing here, play pause stat. Status works quite well. Back to movies. Like I said, I don't have many movies that I purchased on hard drive, but I do have a few. The plot, if the plot is quite lengthy, that's the only thing that takes a few minutes to actually update. Once it does, it seems to work just fine. The one thing I did with the Python script and Event Ghost is it doesn't update information consistently. I should say on a regular basis. Like the title, the plot, and the year only updates itself when the data actually changes. So essentially Event Ghost is updating the time and the uh, percentage for the slider and the play pause state. Everything else is only updated upon change of whatever is being played. So one other thing that I was able to do in using Event Ghost versus doing this all in iRule is the fact that when I stop a playback, it clears all the fields 
and resets the slider to zero. Wasn't able to do that within iRule directly.